Hi guys, Lynn's friends here again. One of the most common things that people ask me when I tell them I enjoy making content, I'm going live and creating videos is what's your content about? And I'm like, well, I don't really want to stick to one content because that it doesn't match my personality. Like right now, I have a lot of holiday videos left like, to release, but I feel bored of it already because the past few weeks is all about oh holiday, holiday, holiday. And that's why I'm like, oh, let's have some work stuff because I'm so tired of bloody holiday videos. <laughs> I want to have that feeling that I'm enjoying what I'm doing. The strong desire to release this video, the strong desire for, for me to tell people about it. I feel that way. Sometimes when I finish a video and I'm proud of it, I feel like, oh, I can't wait to release it. You know, I can't wait to show people. That's one of the things that I value. It makes sense for me to carry on doing what I'm doing because I feel that feeling. And then, sometimes they ask me, oh, how many subscribers do you have on your main app? Well, I guess I've been so much more active on Bigo than any other app. So I guess you can say that Bigo is my main app. When I tell them it's like 132,000, You're like, what? what the hell do you do? <laughs> I say, like, oh, like, it depends what I'm doing, you know, what free time I have. Like, sometimes I'm washing up. Sometimes I just talk to people. Sometimes I'm cooking. <laughs> Because that's my only time, you know. Sometimes I want my break at work. Oh, I'm trying to manage my time, and that sometimes that's my time to be able to do it. You know, sometimes I'm just chilly. They seem to think like, how can you get to that many followers just doing that? Instead of saying, oh wow, that's amazing, that's good, you know? Some people will twist it around into something negative. It turns into, oh, what kind of people will watch that? Like, what are you trying to say? The people who watch me, they watch me because there's something wrong with them? What are you trying to say? Like, the quality of people that watch me must be bad? <laughs> What? Maybe some people who say that don't mean it in that way, but I do know that some people who say that mean it in that way. You know, they want to twist something that is a good thing for me into something that it actually is not so good, you know. <laughs> Your quality of people is not very good because why would people watch that, you know. What kind of people are your watchers? I can't speak for every single person who do go to my life because, well, you don't know who will come in. Anyone can come and go. But the people who do stay, the people who actually wait for me to go live, you know, the people who actually keep coming back. This is the kind of people that watch me, okay? The kind of people who watch me like to spend their time with me. They think that I am worth spending their time with. Time for me is one of the best things that you can give somebody because once you spend your time, you can never get it back. They are genuinely interested in what's going on with me. These people care about me. Sometimes they even get hurt for me. When I get trolled online, 
these people defend me. Sometimes they get even more emotional than I do. I appreciate that, that there's actual care. They like to listen to what I have to say. They think that what I say is worth listening to. And most of them are kind, loyal, and respectful. Which are the things that I'm trying to promote. Most of the people that keep coming back share the same values and we get each other, we get along. Some of these people are, I actually consider as my friends. I know it sounds sad, you know, that oh, online friends, but to me that's the way it is. That's the reality. Some of them are actually my friends. They watch me for years. Years. I can't help but develop a connection with them. These people make me laugh. These people make my day. They remember little things about me. Accept that. That's the way I am. I can't be bothered to put makeup on. Reassure me, you don't need makeup. <laughs> no pressure. Some of them even defend me from like, you know, if some people make fun of me, oh, why are you washing up on your life? You know, some people even be like, well, actually, we're here for the washing up. They appreciate me being there. Sometimes, they actually wait for the time when I will be live. Sometimes, they get sad when I have to finish my life. Sometimes they even wake up a certain time so they can catch me live. What else do I need? You know, I couldn't ask for anything better, for anyone better to watch me. Sometimes we put some people on a pedestal and think these people are so much better than other people. But then, okay, when you actually hang out with these people, how do they treat you? Will they look down on you? Will they think that they're better than you? For me, I think I've got the best watchers ever. I don't think I can ask for anything more than what my watchers are. I feel like I'm the luckiest person to have such supportive people lifting me up. They're always encouraging me. Make me feel good about myself. Teach me stuff. Give me ideas. Share their experiences with me. Because of them, I always enjoy my lives. I look forward to going live. Sometimes I don't even want to end my life, but I have to manage my time, so I have to. And end up staying there for hours and I don't even notice the time because I'm having so much fun. I think you guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, check with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I'm a ninja with a name, don't fall in love.